Commission Foundation is Virginia's leading peer-to-peer -peer recovery community organization. So if you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, let us get you connected. Build your self-esteem and lead you to a solid foundation in your recovery. Check us out. All right, I don't have to go into my history because I'm a great host. My organization has been doing this for a while. And um, when I met with Nora through Donna DiBiase, I started to see what was going on with this heroin addiction. And the issue that I have, um, not only being the only black speaker at events like this, <laughs> which I love, but yeah, no one noticed. But the fact of the matter is that I'm dealing with a lot of situations where my organization is down with the culture and the music that the culture produces kind of gets young people into that groove that we're trying to steer them away from. So I'm always the bad guy, no matter what you think. And when Honesty called me and said, I need you to do this, I need you to do this, I'm like, okay, you got enough people, what do you need? Then she kept calling me and I was like, oh, you must need a black guy there. Whatever, whatever, <laughs> let's do the dance. And then I started reading on the McShin Foundation, and I was like, oh no, this is something I want to be a part of. This is something I want to promote. And so I said, let me now take this more serious and let me steer my way away from what I'm doing and sort of focus on getting this job done. Because this is going to be a job for all of us, and it's going to be tough. And a lot of people that I'm dealing with of my age have kids. And these kids are now listening to this music. They listen to the Migos. They listen to Future. And they keep telling me, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't have the answer. I'm not God. I don't know what's going on. What we have been doing for the last couple of years through the uh, Nassau County Heroin Prevention Task Force and through other campaigns that I'm a part of is actually letting people know that being sober is cool and actually let them know you can, yeah. actually letting them know that you can actually go to a party and you can hang out and you can have friends and you can go on dates and you don't have to be pressurized into certain things, but it's gonna take a constant talking to and it's not gonna be us belittling people, it's gonna be us letting the people know that don't be ashamed of yourself. We are actually working on a very big event at Nassau Coliseum with the uh, Long Island Nets, with Nassau County, the District Attorney's Office. Honesty, I want you to be part of it. Nora, Nora's got that magazine, Addicting, Addiction to Recovery. Check it out. We're gonna be trying to, yes, it's a great magazine. We're gonna be trying to bring people together to this big Coliseum to actually have a certain forum similar to this and um, this kind of feels like a, a AA meeting, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And when, when you start hearing the stories of people, my mother was knee deep into the game of addiction. My father used to hustle and was dealing with drug kingpins. And when you start to realize that this is a slippery slope that a lot of people could get roped into, then you start to take it more serious and then when you start to see the results of people that can't handle certain things, whether it's opiates or whatever it is, then you start to say, let me be on the other side of the fence to start helping people get over this. And then we can move forward. I want to help the McShin Foundation take this worldwide, if they will have me. And I want to bring on my partners, including the Shark, Damon John, who was on my board, who was a strong advocate for a lot of the things I do, including Russell Simmons, who we helped uh, in the Rockefeller drug laws, including LL Cool J, who my father used to manage. My father said, I have to come and see you speak so you don't embarrass us. <laughs> so I have a, a strong partnership with Power 105 Radio, iHeartMedia. They have been running ads um, against gun and gang violence, and recently we had them run an ad against the heroin epidemic. And it was like, iHeart, I know you guys are gonna do this one year. And iHeart was like, no, we're gonna keep doing this. As long as you're serious, we're serious. 
And so for the last year, they have been running these ads, stop the heroin epidemic, go get treatment. And I was like, oh my goodness, these guys are serious. So when people take you serious, it only makes you more serious about your job. And I am very serious about what I do. I have my, my younger brother who has now come on the team and he sees how serious we are. We make a lot of sacrifices. We don't run around waving the flag like we should be celebrities or anything. But we know that through this radio station, through my media pass, yes, as a writer for The Source magazine and our own blog, The Hip Hop Hood Report, through our association with Damon John and, and FUBU Mobile, we're opening up the cell phone stores. I think we could actually get the word out to a lot of urban youth. And I know that through my association with the Nassau County District Attorney and the Suffolk County District Attorney and this work we have been doing in Long Island, Long Island doesn't want to acknowledge a problem because it brings the property taxes down. I get it. But we have to understand that a lot of those kids are bored and sitting in the basement of parents that are working and making a lot of money and they're going to go into the medicine closet and they're going to do their thing. And so it's going to affect all of us eventually. And I think that before it affects us exponentially, I think we all could put our foot forward and speak up. And I will actually be going out through the powerhouse, you know, event we have coming up with iHeart, the biggest concert in New York City. And I'm gonna have to start talking to these artists again, because I have been talking to these artists. But it's not that I wanna be enemies with anybody, but I don't wanna keep seeing kids in the hospital. I don't wanna keep seeing the Narcan cells going up. I don't want uh, car fentanyl on the streets being sold like crack cocaine in the 80s. This is just not what I want. So whatever I can do to, to help the issue, and it seems like the creator has kind of given me this task, and it's like I can't really dodge this task, and so I continue to do things. I want to continue to work with Nora and, uh, and Honesty. What a, what a great name. And um, let's just keep doing what we have to do. And I'll get the radio stations and I'll get the artists to eventually start making different types of songs. It's not going to be an overnight thing. But I think that if we have uh, social media and if we have record labels and radio stations, and bloggers and people like you guys that want to come to downtown Manhattan and see what we have to say. I think that we have a, a nice step moving forward here. So you can check us out, Hip Hop Summit Youth Council at HHSYC on all social media. But um, I want to actually get with John after this event. He's doing great things. I saw the tour. I saw the CBS thing you did. It's beautiful. I want you to keep going. And um, I want to just keep this fight going and kicking up another notch so that we could uh, help eradicate this thing, man. It's, it's up to us, ultimately, okay?